Everybody has to snitch all the time. That's the fucked up part. Everybody's always snitching. Ready to fucking write a Yelp review. Like, that's what we do in this country. We're ready to write a fucking... Didn't get good service. I'm going fucking... I'm the fucking fuck. I'm going online. I'm taking time out of my precious motherfucking day. A fucking... And I'm going to take time out of my day to talk about that guy at the store. I'm going to take time out of my motherfucking day and talk about that waiter that was just a little too happy. That he was on drugs. Because I'm mad at myself. That's all it is. You're mad at yourself, bro. Why are you mad at me? Because my fucking balls hang low? Because my dick's fucking flapping back and forth? Is that why you're mad at me? Are you mad at me because bitches hit me up on a daily, bro, and I'm ugly as fuck? How? I got one fucking trying to text me right now. Hi. What's up? After the podcast, I'll holler at you. Don't worry. I'll give you what you need. But like that, what what if we could write Yelp reviews on sex? Hear me out. Time you have sex with somebody, because I got a lot of bad reviews for a lot of women out here. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't do it, man. You're like, eh, okay, you know what? All right, fine. Let's just get it over with. But like, and that's what I do. I write a fucking bad review on a lot of people. <laughs> but what if they? That, that's the next fucking step. Everybody stitching on everybody, like the whole motherfucker. Whole motherfucking motherfucker has to know that you fucked up. You can't let it go. You know what I'm saying? I know people that literally will fucking, like, I know I have, I have like fucking family members that will literally go to a restaurant and have a bad time and then fucking leave as soon as they can and fucking write a Yelp review and then brag about it. You know what I mean?